What's going on guys? I am with the Moose and today I have some more Madden 15 Ultimate Team information for you guys. This information is coming from mutthead.com. I'll leave that link in the description if you want to read more. But I'm basically going to be breaking down the most important stuff, at least in my mind, uh, from this little article that they posted today. So the first thing is that tiers and programs are separate. Um, if you guys don't know what I mean, I'm basically going to read their thing and then maybe analyze it a little bit. So it says, instead of creating new tiers when new programs are released, so Fantasy, Ghosts, BCA, etc., there will be only four tiers for the entire season. Those will be bronze, silver, gold, and elite. Tiers are represented by the color and number of stripes on the bottom of a given card. You can find the information on the card's associated program in the top left corner, such as le such as the Legends icon on Rod Woodson's Elite card above. Uh, now, if you take a look at that link down there, you'll see Rod Woodson's card. You guys have probably seen it before. Um, and there's more stripes than actually the Cam Newton card. And also, he has a little icon that says NFL Legends on it as well. So that just basically says that he's a Legend card, even though there won't be a Legend tier, uh, at least not right now. It says bronze. Silver, gold, and elite are the only tiers. Pretty interesting. Not sure if I like it or not. Um, I don't know. It's it sounds interesting. Definitely. Uh, I think it's a a fairly good idea. Um, I do honestly like you know the fantasy ghost BCA cards just because they they're something different to look at. But if they're going to be doing this and maybe uh, eventually there will be cards that have you know six stripes because I'm looking at these and the the first Cam Newton card that they released looks like it has two stripes to me and then the Rod Woodson looks like it has three stripes. Uh, at least that's what it looks like to me. Um, but who knows? That's kind of what they were talking about um, in that little blurb there. But um, the new thing is uh, also there is, uh, you know, style is now chemistry. So if you guys didn't know that, uh, chemistry is now called style. There's not much difference. There still is the uh, eight eight exact uh, chemistry or styles that uh, were in Madden 25 Ultimate Team. There's short pass, long pass, speed run, ground and pound, run stuff, pass rush, man defense, and zone defense. So really nothing has changed there other than the name. Not really sure why they decided to change it, but hey, uh, you know, something new is always good, I guess. Um, another big thing is that injury cards are now not in the game. So it says, starting this year, injuries have a maximum duration of one game. That means you'll never have to use an injury item to return a starting player to your lineup. In the worst case scenario, you'll lose a player for the remainder of your current game. Now, injury cards really weren't that useful, to be honest. Um, you know, sometimes you might get injured for four or five games, and yeah, it would be a hassle to go buy the, uh, you know, bronze injury cards from the store, but it really didn't cost that much. Cost maximum, you know, 200, 300 coins to get a guy back in the game, or back on the field, I should say, for your next game. Um, but honestly, that I mean, that's not that many coins. Almost everybody, 99.99% of people have that many coins and are able to actually, you know, buy an injury card for that little. So it really wasn't even that useful. It was kind of just a hassle, really. It didn't really, you know, do anything to affect the game other than just make you waste time, you know, trying to get these injury cards. So um, that was a little annoying, but I'm glad they're gone and it makes sense that they, uh, you know, aren't really in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Finally, it says contracts are more manageable. So I'll read the blurb and then give a little insight. Uh, it says contracts no longer exist as individual items. You will have a total number of contracts available, and that number increases when you open packs or purchase contracts directly from the store. You can spend these contracts on adding games to individual players or by raising your entire starting lineup to a given number of contracts. The hassle associated with ensuring your team has enough contracts to play is over. So I'm not really sure exactly what this means. I think it's basically saying that you'll have a certain allotted amount of contracts at a certain time. So let's say I open, you know, 10 packs. That maybe means I have 100 contracts. I'm, I'm just spitballing here. Um, and then I can use those contracts. So if I want to use them all on one player, let's say I have, you know, Jerry Rice and I want to have him be at 100 contracts. I could give him all the 100 contracts or I could disperse that between 10 players and give those 10 players 10 contracts each or give one player 50 and five players 10 something like that if you guys are following with me what i'm saying here uh, basically i think it just gives you a lot of flexibility at least that's what i'm reading into it if you guys have a different interpretation definitely let me know in the comments down below but that's just what i think uh, i think this news is pretty cool um and uh, definitely, uh, you know, fun to think about. Uh, there's going to be more information in the coming weeks until the game comes out. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. And definitely let me know what you think of this news. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.